The first major set of new functions for the Pixel since the launch of Android 13 has now arrived. The December 2022 Pixel feature drop includes a number of important new features, but this is everything you need to know. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So the most obvious new addition, although not technically a feature with the December 2022 Pixel feature drop, is the latest Android security patch. As is customary, you can get the latest patch right on Google's own update schedule the first Monday of each month. This means you're safe from any exploits or issues that might potentially affect your prized possession. A headline feature added as part of the December Pixel feature drop is the Google One VPN for Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, even though it has actually been rolling out for a few days already. Announced during the live keynote presentation for the Pixel 7 series, this extra layer of connection is unchanged from the free VPN bundled with the two terabyte plus tiers of Google One Cloud Storage. Basically, the Google One VPN is focused on masking your traffic and IP address, reducing online tracking and providing protection on public Wi-Fi and other unsecured networks. It's only available with eligible Google accounts though, which does not include workspace or selected supervised accounts. The company says it will never use a VPN connection to track, collect or sell your online activity. You will also need to download the Google One app to access this functionality. Doing so gives you a handy quick settings tile to connect or disconnect from Google's VPN service on a whim. The company has also confirmed that you'll be able to access the VPN for the entire five year support window of the Pixel 7 Series 2. Appearing briefly as part of the QPR 1 Beta 3 update, clear calling has now arrived for Pixel 7 and 7 Pro with the Pixel feature drop for December. Sadly, you can't use the function with any devices other than Google's latest and greatest. Maybe we'll see it backported to uh, some devices in a future update, but for now it is fairly limited. To enable this, go to settings, sound and vibration, clear calling, and then toggle this to the on position. It's hard to work out just how well this feature works, but when calling family or friends, background noises should be dulled and speech should be owned, making for phone calls, or at least making phone calls easier to digest. It's not groundbreaking, but it's certainly useful when taking and placing calls, especially in noisy environments. As part of the Google Recorder 4.2 update and subsequent feature drop. When using the default audio recording application for Pixel phones, aka the Google Recorder, this will now work out and determine whether a person's speaking and will also label that extra person who is detected with auto-generated transcripts. People are identified as speaker one, speaker two, and you can change the name for each speaker in the recording itself. They're also identified within the feed with different names, colors, and material use shapes. Notably, speaker labels will not work if your device is too hot though. Speakers are identified by the app in real time and Google Recorder automatically starts a new line when it does detect a speaker switch. That's not the only functionality here as you also have some transcription editing tools after you're done. After pressing the edit speaker labels in the toolbar, you can now tap the transcript to split from here. Selecting a speaker lets you rename, create a new one, or assign an existing speaker to a specific pack passage. This just adds yet another useful tool to one of Google's most quietly impressive applications out there too. Hinted at and expected before the full launch of Android 13, the new unified security and privacy settings page is simply a hub for all of your things on device account security. You'll get color coded safety status indicators and prompts to remove apps deemed insecure or potentially harmful in your device. These new cards will help you keep your device and account secure and notify you if you need to take steps to improve security based upon things like data breaches and more on top. Visually, this new menu does feel also a lot more a part of material you theming and especially integrated in Android 13 on Pixel devices here too. It might not appear right away though, and it is expected to have a wider rollout over the next few days after the OTA has been installed on your device. A fresh new selection of wallpapers have also been added to the curated culture section of the Google Wallpapers application to help celebrate the International Day of People with Disabilities. Illustrated by artist, poet, podcaster, and author, Morgan Harper Nichols, this work is said to have been inspired by real life interactions and stories. The designs actually feature people, nature, and have bright colorful swatches, which make them perfect for your pixel, especially with Material U working overtime. 
There's also a brand new live bloom wallpaper that will shift and sway when your phone moves. This also expands upon the flowery wallpapers that come pre-installed with the Pixel 6 series, which were officially launched last year. And this features lilac, purple, and pink hues. It is a gorgeous option for your Pixel, but is also not available quite that widely at this point in time and is expected to slowly roll out over the next few days. Cough and snore detection is also making the jump from Pixel 7 series to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro with the rudimentary sleep tracking feature working in tandem with the bedtime mode within the digital well-being settings. So long as your phone is charging at the side of your bed, you'll get data upon how often you were caught snoring or happen to cough when you're sleeping. And you can see that data from here and keep on top of that as the time progresses. Live Translate for messaging apps has also gained five new languages. When conversing in Arabic, Danish, Persian, Swedish, and Vietnamese, you can quickly translate messages and break down those language barriers. This feature is still limited to the Pixel 6 and Pixel 7 devices though at this time. Nothing has really changed with regard to spatial audio on Pixel Buds Pro, but Google has confirmed with the Pixel feature drop that this enhanced audio functionality is coming in January 2023. So we thought it'd be remiss of us not to note this. Spatial audio in tandem with head tracking should also help improve the immersive surround sound experience, but we're yet to see just how much of a difference it will make with most streaming applications out there, especially as not everything will support it right out of the gate. That said, we are looking forward to seeing this come later down the line. Google's first party wearable is also getting some added attention courtesy of the latest December 2022 Pixel feature drop. There isn't a ton of new functionality arriving for the Pixel Watch, but we're sure owners will be pleased to hear that their Wear OS watch is set for some new additions this early into its life cycle. Fitbit sleep profiles are new on Pixel Watch, and although they were announced back in November, if you are a Fitbit Premium subscriber, you can access this feature on your Pixel Watch right now. This is actually just an enhanced analysis tool that gives you expanded sleep data with a monthly sleep animal mascot, which is assigned to your rest patterns. What's more, if you happen to wear your Pixel Watch to bed, for at least 14 nights throughout the latter end of November and now early December, you should also be able to see a sleep animal already within the Fitbit application. Wear OS is also getting a trio of new features, including two additional first party tiles and an even more capable Google Keep application. The weather app on Wear OS is getting a new sunrise and sunset tile to complement the system watch face complication. It simply notes what time the two daily events will occur and provides a countdown towards each. At the bottom, progress is also noted by an arc that features the sun and should be available right now on your wearable. If you do have the Google Contacts app installed, also over the next few weeks, you should be able to see a new tower which will hold up to five of your favorite contacts here for quick access if you want to call them. There's also a button to enter your full address contact book here too. Google Keep is also getting an improved richer notes feed that will show four lines of text, title plus three more lines, and support background colors and the default set of illustrations if you do use the theming. As part of the enhanced safety and emergency functionality, Google has also confirmed that fall detection is set to come to the Pixel Watch in 2023. No word was shared upon the time frame for this ability arriving on the wearable, but it will be another welcome safety feature much as existed on Apple Watches and all those kind of smartwatches out there for some time already. So that's everything in the Pixel feature drop, but coinciding with this, Google also confirmed a number of features for Android phones, and it, we think it'd be rude for us not to mention given the timing of those updates. All of these extras should be compatible with the Android phones out there running 9.0 or higher and available via app updates and Google Play updates on your device. So the first of those is a brand new reading mode and this can be downloaded to your Android phone and plugs into the existing accessibility suite to improve content consumption or at least the content consumption experience of those with impaired vision, low vision or even dyslexia. After downloading from the Google Play Store, you're able to make adjustments to suit your specific needs. Things like contrast, text size, font style, and text-to-speech can also be enabled with further speed controls for this read aloud function, also fully adjustable. You're able to rewind, fast forward, and tune the reader voice as you see fit, which makes things a lot easier to digest or manage. There's also a super handy quick access floating on-screen toggle, which can be enabled to quickly activate reading mode on your device. It's also compatible with TalkBack so that you can use it with your preferred screen reader. 
This function works with most applications and more prominently in web pages when using the quick access floating panel. And visually it's a delight for consuming long form web pieces. And we're really nice to see Google, or it's really nice to see Google finally add this to Android. There's a whole host of new styles as well as part of enhancements to the recently added collage editor in Google Photos. You might not have been aware that this feature even existed, but after selecting a bunch of photos, it lets you create a picture collage. You can play around with the layout or even add or remove pictures in a presentable format, but overall it's a nice touch and one we really like. Most are abstract photo frames with just enough flair added to make your favorite family and friend photos stand out, but it's also a really nice addition all the same. Perfectly timed with the holiday season and the coincidental December pixel feature drop though are all new emoji kitchen combinations within Gboard. The catalyst or key ingredients here are the wolf, the snowman and snowflake, and also on top of that, the Christmas tree. These, there are absolutely tons of combinations for you to play around with, but it's a lovely expanded set of stickers that you can test out and try for yourself just at that right time of year. There's also a brand new YouTube home screen widget that should be rolling out right now for devices that lets you quickly search for your favorite content, enter the YouTube home, the shorts and subscription panes without ever needing to launch the app itself. There's also a tab here to enter your YouTube library, playlists and content, this has been long overdue and it's fully compatible with Material U on Pixel phones, meaning that it complements the existing YouTube music home screen widget. But that said, it's not that widely available, but it should be rolling out right now. The Google TV app is also now beginning to roll out the ability to cast TV shows and movies from multiple streaming services or from within one location, this app. This should be available to more people over the next few weeks, but it's not entirely clear just how many streaming platforms will be available or will be compatible. That's not all there was, there's even a tweak to the remote that minimizes the UI into a bottom panel with the current content and controls housed within. It's not major, but it's a nice touch as with all of these updates seem to be. There aren't actually a ton of vehicles that support digital car keys, but the functionality is expanded year upon year. And since 2021, you've been able to unlock your vehicle or lock your vehicle with a simple tap of your phone, thanks to NFC and the Google Wallet. Where available though, this function was limited to one user per vehicle. Google unlocks the ability for users to share this though by expanding the car unlocking functionality. It's just lifted the restriction that allows you to now share your key with others if you so wish. For instance, if you have a family member or a friend that needs to access your vehicle for any reason, you'd be able to hand over a digital copy of that key so long as they have a Pixel device running Android 12 or even an iPhone. You're able to revoke access if you do share a digital car key, but it should make the process of getting people to access your vehicle or giving access to your vehicle and then revoking a little bit easier. So that's the final Pixel feature drop of the year for Pixel 4a and newer Google smartphones plus a few features for every smartphone running Android 9.0 Pi and above. Nobody seems to be fully left out, at least this time. If you want to get those wallpapers though that have features throughout this video that we've created specifically for Pixel feature drops, then let's see if we can get 2,500 likes and we'll leave a link in our usual folder down in the description. We really want to share these, so let's hit that like and go. I want to know though, what's your favorite new addition? Let me know down in the comment section here too. Until next time though, I hopefully you enjoyed this look at the December 2022 Pixel feature drop. This is Damien with 9to5Google, and as always, I'll speak to you later.